Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here at episode 11 of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the Ezio Collection. In the previous episode, we cleaned up two barge towers, one in the um, Campagna district, which was around here, or something like that, and we picked up one that was just near this Romulus treasure. We picked up a viewpoint over here, where we picked up another feather and a cluster as well. Um, we also did the Romulus lure in the... Sorry in the Colosseum, which was right about where this viewpoint is now, obviously that wasn't showing up last time so that's why we didn't get to show up but um, we've just been kind of making our way down towards this memory down here now I have looked up this Romulus lair and it is probably the, the hardest in terms of diffi uh, in terms of collecting all the stuff, because I think there's like 16 or 17 treasures in this one and 3 barger flags, there's no way we can get the um, second requirement, the secondary requirement, which is to do it in eight minutes. So that I'll definitely have to do that one off screen. But no matter. So what we've agreed to do is go for this Borgia Tower that we've got coming up down here. Um, then to do the Romulus Lair, which will go through collectible wise, and then, like I said, I'll pick up the synchronization off screen. And finish off by hopefully starting up that final Thieves Guild mission. And then I think that automatically leads into the fourth memory of the sequence. But yeah, we are really blasting through these Borgia Towers. We only have four left, including this one. Can I hear something sparkling? Oh, it's up there. Looks like a feather or a flag. Oh, it's a flag. Okay, uh, well, I can do that. Excuse me. He'll hurt someone pulling stunts like that. Wait for this guy to turn around. Excellent. Okay, so where is this one? Okay, um, let's do this. This is going to be a bitch to do. So I'm going to do like this in, in sets, like I think I remember where the first lot is, and then I'll do like the second lot and the third lot, etc, etc. Um, first of all, right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, we've got six treasures before the first barger flag, so I think I remember where all of those are. So we'll just try our best. But yeah, it's going to be awkward. Especially for me with editing. Wolves Among the Dead, locate the followers' life, full synchronization, complete the memory within eight minutes. Not gonna freaking happen. So it's gonna be another off screen one. It is literally impossible. I mean, I think with the um, Halls of Nero, it is actually possible to get full synchronization and all the treasures. I was just a bit slow on my feet. Um, but this time it really is impossible to do both. So we'll do the collector's version first because obviously that's the most important one. But, and then obviously go back and speed run it off screen. As I like to keep saying. Right, come up, oh, let's go up. Okie doke. Um, okay, well, there's only one way to go. Let's go straight down like this. Been too difficult at the moment. Got another one over here. I mean, these are pretty simple at the start, but later on it gets really complicated because it's like maze. It's like a maze. So even if you are avoiding all the treasures, then you're still going to end up. Um, well, might end up getting lost. So. Yeah, it is a very difficult area. There we go, so this is our fourth one, so we've got two more in the way before the Borgia flag, so once we've reached that, we'll know that we're on the right track. And that we don't miss any so far. Okay, um just trying to recall this and just kind of like, yeah, this is the area, isn't it? 
Okay, good, good stuff. So there's one up here. So obviously make sure to grab all these, especially if you're after the short quest, because usually quite a lot of these chests will have unique stuff. Right, no, we've missed one, I think. Hang on. Huh. Yeah, hang on, we missed one. Um, yeah, that's not good. Alright, um, what you actually have to do is, it's not too far back, so it's not too bad. I uh, missed the one that was up here. Yeah, there we go. This is our sixth, well, should have been our fifth one. Alright, not too bad. Back on track. So we've got six treasures. So far out of 17, I think it was. Hey ho. Alright, so I want to come through here. Climb this ladder. And that should be come down this way. Camera. Camera. Please work with me. And there is our first Borja flag for this particular area. Okay. Um, I've updated my little list. Not list, but you know what I mean. My, my brain. To try and remember what we've got left. Let's see, actually, so that's 14, 16 on there, so we've picked up the first six. Okay, so we've got four treasures coming up. Um, so if we go straight ahead, down here, I've got treasure number one. Nice, nice. Okay, so we go back to the start, turn right. If we see down here, there's a guy who's running through. I'm going to just take the complete wrong direction. I've got treasure number two. Very cool. Heading straight ahead. Turn. Oh, is it, no, does it go straight ahead, maybe? I think, and then turn left down here. Grab that one. Cool, cool. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, come on, let's see. Oh, come on, stop gazing at the surroundings. Okay. This will be helpful with the um, ability to jump and grab, but hey ho. Okay. Like such. And I think. Yep. There's treasure numero cuatro. There we go. I think that's it. For now. So we get a little cinematic sequence, which I drew as my kind of ending part of this little section, because obviously it's quite a couple of minutes of footage going there and I'm not that memorable. <laughs> Alright, um oh yeah, this is it here. Mm-hmm. drop, does it? Alright, um, you gotta be careful here. No, just kind of be careful. And there we go. So just gonna do a turn around there. Down here. We should be fast approaching our next treasure, which is just down there. Very nice. Okay, so we got three treasures and one flag before the next synchronization point. 
Okay. I'm just gonna use memory now. Which is again not my strong point. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see one, two, no. Oh, no, that's not it's not a good way of doing it. Okay, something sparkling. Oh yeah, there's the um flag that we're after. No, that's not how you do it, you fool. Oh, jeez. Come on, Ezio. Climb, climb it. Oh my god, are you, are you taking the mech? Yeah, that's the end of the um, synchronization thing. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there's our second treasure. Okay, very good. And then if we come down here, I think it is. There's our Borgia flag. Very nice. So it's two out of three Borgia flags. Um, this is where it gets tricky. So yes, this is where it starts to get complicated. Obviously, there's all these paths going here, there, and everywhere around the place. So just gotta keep your wits about you. I think if we go straight down here and left, aha, there it is. There's our third treasure of this little set, and that is it up into these well to the cinematic. Hmm. I seek those who lead the followers of Romulus. That's just rude. <sighs> okay. So we have three more treasures and a single Borger flag before we have done with the collectibles in this lair. So yeah, that just goes to show how annoying it is. <laughs> in this particular section, to collect everything. So we climb up like such. No, oh, oh, I said fool. Up across like that. Which gives us access to our last Borgia flag. Like such. Uh oh. That can't be good for you. Perfect. A route up if I fall. <laughs> of course, a route up if you fall. See ya. Alright. Jump across down here. This isn't good. Come on, stop making things awkward for me. Alright, and hop across there. Very good. Molto bene. Alright, now this is where things get really complicated. Because this is like those catacombs section that I said where you can go here, there, and everywhere. Alright, so our first treasure should be down here, I think. Yep. Oh. Alright. Snag. Snag that baby. Okay. Got straight past these guys down here. Go left again. And left again. Very good. And then I think straight on and left again. And there we go, that is all of the treasures. Yep. All the treasures and all the flags in this horrible little 
Romulus Lair. I think if you go right here, go up and up and follow left, maybe left here. Hmm. No, brick wall. Brit wall. See, see what I mean? Kind of guessing on your own. Um, so we came down this way, don't we? So we'll try right. Maybe this will lead us to salvation. No! Mm, that's the way out. That's the way in. Oh, you fool. You bloody fool. Oh my god. How idiotic do you have to be to, to do a complete U-turn and end up returning the same way that you came in? Oh boy. Alright. Uh, let's try heading straight this time. Because so obviously I went left to get the collectibles. No, that's the way that we went before. Ugh. Damn game. So confusing. Can't be nice. I think this is it. This looks like it is. There we go. Thank God. Whew. Horrible, horrible game. <laughs> oh dear, what's happening? Don't you be giving me your evil laugh. Hear us, O oh Romulus! What must we do to this trespasser? I think they want me to, to kill him. Do not let the Borgia speak through him. Not your god. Romulus says that the assassin must die. Oh, do they do, do they? Well, I say you guys must die. How'd you like them apples, huh? Yeah, huh? Right. Oh no way! What was that about? Come on, come at me. Come on, bro. Oh yeah, that's right. Alright, there we go. Sneak around that. that out of, oh no, what are you doing? You, oh, you might as well go up the ladders. Might as well. You've no sense of bloody skill in terms of climbing walls, are you at the moment, Nexio? You'll tie it out. Come on. Tram a bitch. Alright. This is looking a little bit better. Bunch of fools. Oh no! What is with you today, Ezio? Seriously. You are not with it. At all. You're being a pain in my booty. Okay. Let's get out of this godforsaken place. Whoop. Whoop de freaking whoop. Search the followers there. Whoa! Again? No. <laughs> that was going to lead me down another set of catacombs again. I was going to be like, really? You're doing this to me now? Oh my god. Ooh, this is going to take a lot of editing in this episode. And I have not a clue how long I've been recording for, because it's going to be something like, you've been recording for like 40 minutes, and it's like, well, you know, I spent half that time trying to find where everything was. Alright, is that everything? So it looks like it's everything. Okay, actually, how long have we been recording? 30 minutes. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, well, there's our way out. 
And there's our second skull of Romulus. I dropped to my knees, breath catching in my throat as I tried to grasp the spectacle before me. This same cavern has haunted my dreams. I have spent countless nights exploring it in my sleep. I was compelled to find it. I have decided it is here that we will hold counsel. Here we will plot the downfall of our enemy, our friend, our dictator Pe Perpetuo. Forty of us, each a senator, each a li liberator. Cassius has tested me to with the plan, though I do not yet have one in mind. Okay. Let's get out of here. Three out of six, so we're halfway through. I think those are all the ones that we can get in this sequence. You unlock more as the sequences go on. So yeah, so obviously I'll get the um, full synchronization off screen. It's absolutely evil. Hey, come on. Give him my trophy. Where is my trophy? Bring it to me. There we go. Undertaker 2.0. Um, don't know why the trophy icons are not showing up, but fine, fine. Okay, fine. Okie dokie. That's obviously that's the most um, awkward tomb. So tomb, you know, lair. So I'm glad we've done it. Not the most awkward thing for synchronization, though. Oh boy, that one goes to some of those um, war machines, but we've not unlocked those yet. So uh, it's taken us near the Borgia Tower that we tried to do before. So maybe the guys come back. Hopefully the guys come back. There we go. Oh, you've got some balls. You've got some balls. I dodged it. What are you doing? Why are you dodging? We've done, a, done our first challenge there, haven't we? Very nice. Alright, but well now we've finally killed the Borgia leader. Or Borgia captain. We can take down the tower. I'm sorry I wasn't talking a lot there. I was kind of in... You know what it's like, as I always say. You know, full concentration mode. Alright. No. No. Ezio. So where am, I, where am I supposed to go here? <sighs> the game seems to be like to mislead me, to make me think that, oh, this is the way you're supposed to go. No, it's not the freaking way I'm supposed to go. Alright. Finally, this piece of Trash Borgia Tower is destroyed. Obviously, that's been the toughest one so far. Seeing as that, that is the only one that we have so far where we failed on the first time. All right, we got a blacksmith over here. Excellent. Because I need healing. Well, my armor fixing all that jazz. Alright, so our income is it now nearly 4,000. Not too shabby. Hit me up. Still can't really afford much. Ooh, can get the crossbow. Yep, yeah, I'm getting it. Getting the crossbow. It's going to do us a world of favours. Alright, nice. Sweet. We've got some stuff to renovate in the area. We'll do these ones. Might as well, since it's all the blacksmith in the bag. Sweet. Might as well. Oh, camera. We've got a, we've got a bank, so we'll um, withdraw our money. Um, I think yeah, there's an art merchant up there and a doctor. So we grab those two as well. They don't seem to be too expensive. But of course, just builds up our income. See, look, we're nearly at four, 
1,500 florins every 20 minutes. Oh, we got a discount. Very good. And... Herr Doctor. We'll grab you too. How do you like them apples? You ain't gonna like them apples because it keeps the Doctor away, doesn't it? Alright. Not too bad. Alright, what have you got? I uh, can buy paintings, we're not going to. Uh, oh boy, that's cost quite a lot of money for those two. Oh boy, oh, that's all that down. Alright, La Volpe Adormentata. So that's the sleeping fox, isn't it? That's what I, I, I assume, anyway. Okay, let's fire this up. <laughs> Ezio, La Volpe. I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. Hmm. Double agent. Spine Machiavelli with La Volpe and persuade La Volpe to rejoin the Brotherhood. Full synchronization, do not be detected or reducing notoriety. Remain undetected until rejoining La Volpe at the Thieves Guild. What? You do not be detected while reducing notoriety. Remain undetected. Okay, that's... Fine. Okay. Um, meet the Volpe at the market. How far's the market? Oh, it's not too far, actually. Alright, Frederick. Frederick. Come on. Come on, Frederick. We got to go and see if our boy Machiavelli is... Who he seems to make himself out to be. Whoops. <laughs> okay. What do you make of that? Hmm, that is... That is... Shocking. Oh. Those are thieves, I guess. My son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go! Get the others! Right. One down. Right, two more to go. Yeah, they're going down pretty easily. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Wait, from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Folly. Then with the group to get to love all people without being noticed. Okay, I think we've done it this time. Move! You sons of bitches. Claudio, please stay just close, please. Segwit. Claudio! Molte grazie, Messere. Keep out of sight for a while. Desi? The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> You know how to disappear. Yes. Thank to lessons from Paula. The last game. Alright. This shouldn't be too hard. Where's the poster? Oh, what a surprise. It'll probably be up here, won't it? Yep. Shocker. 
Okay. This should be a bit easier. This should take us down to naught. Don't! What are you doing? Okay. Phew. Jeez. Alright, out of the freaking way, everyone. Have we got more money? We have. Very nice. Okay. Um, at La Volpe. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Alright, and there we go. Let's renovate the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> I love it, like, the, the moss thing just stayed around. Alright, we've got the home improvement, which I think is to, um... Renovate a certain amount of the... Antigua district, like 25% or something. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. Excellent. All right, and that is all three guilds in our and now play. And 100% synchronization. Very nice. Okay, very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, so, I think... Hang on. Ezio. It starts at the Thieves' the Guild my contracts. The Thieves in Roma are young. Skilled, but young. Prone to rivalries. Another gang. The Cento Occhi. Cesare Borgia's bootlickers. They cause us significant trouble. Where can I find them? My thieves will show you. Alright, and that starts up those ones. So this is similar to the Cortisans ones, where they are unique missions and not like assassinations. Alright, and so we can do this, which launches a game, which we'll do eventually, because again, there is a trophy related to it. And, um... Hmm... And the, uh, yeah, it, can sh it shows you the uh, restored sequence that is for the Da Vinci Disappearance DLC. So, obviously, we won't be doing that for a while yet. I think we'll put that off until when it's canon to the story, which is at the end of the game. So, it's, that's like equivalent to sequence 10, I think. Alright, um, let's grab this viewpoint whilst we're up here. Yes, and I know what. Wonderful. Zero Florence in the bank vault. Right, let's synchronize this viewpoint. So we've had a busy two episodes, this one and the last one, haven't we? We managed to get a lot done, but I think it's time to cool things down a little bit. In my personal opinion. We've got a stables around the back of here. Okay, well, we'll pick that up so that we'll have um, got everything in the area. Let's renovate this. Very nice indeed. Very cool. Have we got a place for Frederick to sleep? Alright, three out of nine. Oh, come on, why are we not running? Why are we not running? Alright, 
Uh, we're going to end this absolute clusterfuck of an episode. It's been absolutely hectic. Uh, but that's what our map is looking like right now. Uh, obviously we've got one more memory of... The last memory of sequence 3 is in um, the hideout. So obviously everything is looking not so bad. I mean, we picked up the um, the most difficult Romulus Lair, so I mean there's that, uh, which obviously I will go ahead and finish off screen. So DNA, we picked up um, Double Agent. Secret locations, we did Wolves Among the Dead, obviously I'm going to repeat that one. Borgia Towers, we did another one in the Antigua District, I'm not sure which one it was. Quick to Fleet, I also the Desana Brothers. Yeah, so the Tommaso de, de, Tommaso de Viterbro, that was the guy that we took out there. Um, yeah, I've not really started any of these, please don't disturb me whilst I'm recording. Um, and then we've unlocked the guild challenges for the thieves, let's have a look at what this one is. So we have 10 Thieves Guild learn to send to low guards, again we've done that before. Sprint uninterrupted for 300 meters, that should be easy. 20 jumps from a horse to a beam, 40 leaps of faith, perform a dive from a height to 25 meters, 354 is pickpocketed, um, cumulative total of 500 meters with the parachute, 25 guards killed with a ranged weapon, and 5 guards assassinated from a beam. So yeah. And then of course additional memories, we picked up all the Borgia flags in the Catacomb di Roma. Um, treasure wise, it doesn't show them um, the ones that are in the lairs, so I don't think they actually fully count, but... Here you go, so obviously we picked up another, one in, uh, another two viewpoints in the Antigua district, one being a Borgia tower, one being the one on top of the Thieves Guild. And we just picked up bits and bats as we went through. Inventory, armor's not changed, weapons not changed. Oh yeah, we picked up the crossbow. Supplies, we now have crossbow bolts at our maximum. Items, picked up another key of Romulus and some more border flags. Outfits, has not changed. Trade objects, obviously, added a bit on the map. This is how the map's looking right now, as, you've, as I've just shown you guys. Database, we have picked up... Um, I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think we did that one. So we've got the Avatina. The Pyram Pyramid Sestia. La Volpe Adormentata. And La Volpe. Okay, um, people, yeah, contacts and all that, that's not changed. Locations, secret locations, yeah, that was where we did the Romulus Lair. Documents, we picked up the second scroll of Romulus. And that is it. So, in the next episode, I think we're going to take it easy for a little bit. We've been kind of rushing doing a lot of hard stuff recently, so what I think we might do is we might just start off by doing maybe a little collectible run, maybe heading round, picking things up, I don't know, we'll try and make our way back towards the um, final memory and finish off this sequence, but I don't know what we're going to do, but I want to take it easy <laughs> from now on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video, and I'll see you guys in episode 12. Bye guys.